It is June 25th. It's a Tuesday. And this is the video log that takes 30,000 to a million. It's going to happen. And uh, today, after I take you through the account, I'm down about 800 ish dollars. I will talk about what an interesting side effect of options is. And that side effect is to reduce volatility if you're selling anyway. So let's go into the account and I'll show you what's what's been going on today. We got Apple down $331. EXK flat. Should have been up though. Gold, gold's been up. Silver's been flat. So I think that's what's dragging some of these miners down. Or at least they're not going up as much as they should be. I have SH, which is the market short, is up $14 today. A considerable move. Market was down a little bit more than a percent today, I think. I think maybe the NASDAQ is down a percent and a half almost. So, realty income down $27. SXCP up 22. Russian market down 34. Wheat and precious metals down 53. And all these negative numbers actually you might think add up for more than $800. And we got the merchant market fund, uh, bond fund down 19. Uranium market business ETF down 26, chemical down 38, energy fuels down $72. It's huge, and I'm tracking the cryptos here. I don't. I only have like $50 in Ethereum, but I'm not really a crypto trading person, so I don't even have any Bitcoin. It's just I just track it because it looks cool. Like <laughs> I'm sorry, but just this looks really cool. I mean, I wish all the other stocks looked this cool. You know what I mean? It's so nice looking, sleek. On the phone, it looks even cooler. All right, so you would think all these numbers add up to more than 700, but what happens is, is these options are kind of balancing out what's happening. All right, so I'll show you in a second. So when you're selling options, right? I mean, even if when you when you have like let's say a hundred shares of Apple and you sell a call against Apple, then whenever Apple goes down, let's say three hundred dollars, the call will actually gain value. I'm sorry, your um, <clears throat> the call will lose value as well, but you gain money from that, right? Because you've sold that call. All right. So let's say it gains a hundred uh, um. <clears throat> it loses a hundred dollars of value and so you gain that hundred on your end because you've sold it at a high price and now you have to buy it you can buy it at a lower price all right so it kind of the, the two uh, moves a little bit against each other so what, what the net effect is is a decrease in volatility of your portfolio even though you may be dealing with something that's more aggressive something that ha has higher volatility in the market overall you end up not feeling it as much because and I'm sorry, I, I have allergies, <laughs> if I sound weird. Um, because they move against each other, you're not, you don't end up feeling the volatility as much. So I'll show you exactly what I mean, all right? So let's go over here and take a look at Apple. Well, something actually more simple. Um, how about the Russian market? RSX, I'll show you. So it lost $34 today, yeah? I have 138 shares down $34 but if you look at the options here I have sold the contract right to sell the Russian market at $23 on July 5th and what's happened today is look today's return $20 so even though uh, the Russian market is down $34 for me I've gained $30 through my options today and all time return is down obviously forty eight dollars but that's uh that's all right because I saw the call when the Russian market was under uh twenty three dollars and so i I have the gains from that look total return here is four hundred and seventy three dollars for the Russian market so I'm gonna be collecting some of that basically I treat it as I've sold some of this position already, namely a hundred shares out of the one hundred and thirty eight so these numbers doesn't doesn't bother me too much. 
and really this number doesn't bother me too much either in fact none of the numbers really bother me because um, I'm, I'm getting money no matter how you look at this unless this drops to like the floor you know and loses I don't know 10% 15% of its value I'm not really concerned as long as things are hovering along, I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm, I'm gaining value from selling options. All right, so that's one example. Now let's look at another example. How about weight and precious metals? So the, the, the gold mining sector has been a little bit of a run. Should be in a heavier run, but that's probably a topic for another um, log. So today, m minus $53, but if we look at the options play, I've gained 28 so it kind of serves as a counteracting force to decrease the volatility of account of the account so same deal with the Russian market minus six six dollars overall but you can see I've gained over a grand um, for holding wheat and precious metals so I'm not really worried about that same thing here I'm not really worried unless it starts dropping like 10 15 percent uh, it's a very similar situation and finally, let's take a look at Apple. So Apple is kind of unique because I have three options going on in Apple today, minus $337 in Apple. If we look at the options play, it's negative as well. And why would you ask? Well, because I don't just have a call sold against it. I actually have two puts sold against my money. So I'll be collecting Apple shares at $200 a piece if Apple stays below 200 by January 17th. So now these puts, they travel with the price of Apple, but not as exaggerated. It's still kind of a dampening effect, right? So the call actually gained value. Um, if we click on it here, you'll probably see that it's up today. Uh, I'm sorry, lost value, so I'm up. Even I get confused sometimes. So. <clears throat> and um, the puts they've they've gained value, but I have sold them, so that's bad for me. All right. So my interest travel in the in inverse direction of of the um, options. All right. So you can see I'm still down, but even though I've sold the put and I've sold the call, and let's say they cancel each other, one put does not move as much as the price of Apple in a day. All right. So $191 versus $331. So it's still kind of a dampening effect a little bit. So if I had two calls sold, it'd be a very neutralizing um, effect. All right, so that's Apple right there. And just a, a quick overview, this, these are the options that I have running right now. All right, if you look at today's return, you can see that, um, some of them have gained value the ones in the red obviously because I mainly sell options sometimes I'll buy but it mainly sell for income right so all of these are sold options and so my interest will work against the value of the option so chemical lost a dollar worth of value so that means my portfolio goes up one dollar in value Russian market plus 20 wheat and precious metals plus 28 energy fuels plus nine so these are in the green and therefore my portfolio is lost so chemical minus five c-span minus six and you can see apple minus 158 and then apple again minus 344 all right so that's the options we can take a look at even um, my equity all right how much money worth of um not collateral but um what's the word what is the word that i'm looking for uh liability sorry <laughs> so you can see over here the equity is basically how much liability i have for each of these option trades they're all going to be in the negative all right, so I'm looking to erase all of this. So once all this gets erased through time, then this is money that I'll be collecting in my pocket or in my account at expiration, hopefully, if all goes well. All right, 
or some of them will execute and I'll lose some of that but I'll gain in profit from the actual stock like I showed you in weight and precious metals and in the Russian market I know it's kind of confusing sometimes you can see even I get confused a little bit um, just just taking you through the account because a lot of times things move inverse to one another and so it's hard to keep track of what's what I'm gaining from the whole deal you know if this option goes up am I gaining or am I losing <laughs> all right but um, it is worth it to try to you know learn about it take a look at it study it and figure things out I probably I do a lot of thinking before I place a trade because you know sometimes it does get jumbled up um, but anyway I just want to show you how these options can work as a dampening effect and it kind of uh, helps me anyway sleep better at night knowing that at least I have something happening that's going in the positive direction of the direction of the markets going down alright so now since the markets going down I am kind of doing a little bit of this <laughs> because I really want to buy some more Apple but it's too high for my blood right now so I really want to turn this SH and I've wanted to turn it before into Apple stock but it's just been sitting too high so now that Apple's going down SH is going up I'll be able to do that flip and I'm really hoping that flip happens pretty soon um, targets that I'm looking for I really can't say I'm gonna have to judge based on oh this is my daily performance monthly performance uh, sorry weekly performance beating the market by a little bit monthly month is really strong this is strong as June I think they've said in a long long, long time but um I think my June is even stronger than that which is great so even though this looks really scary this is my one week performance boom drops off a cliff if you look at it in a month it's like almost unnoticeable so back to my um, point about SH I'm, I'm really looking forward to turning this SH into Apple stock I'm just waiting for it to drop enough and I don't know how much I'll be waiting I have to I'm gonna make that judgment based on sentiment right, I'm gonna be uh, studying sentiment taking notes and figuring around trying to figure out where the the end of this uh, downturn is going to be um, and when that does happen I will obviously record it I'll let you know about it I right, hopefully all of you are making uh, big moves as well and making trillions in the markets I'm trying to do my best um, it's, you know it's difficult it's been a great June today's a difficult day in particular but like I said I really don't mind it I look at it as opportunities I still have some um, emerging market bonds I can spend. I still got short-term treasuries I can spend, and I still got maybe around thirty thousand dollars worth of debt I can go into in order to make some moves. So I'm not really that worried about the market turning down at least five ten percent. I might start getting worried if it goes twenty thirty or more. All right. With that said, I think that's enough of an update. It's kind of a um, I could have done a better job, but I can, I don't I don't got time to do two takes. So I think that's gonna have to do it for today. All right, peace out.